Hi, I'm Jess Maher, and I work at the University of Wisconsin in Madison. I'm happy to be joining Celine today to talk about career planning. But before we jump right into writing your career plan, we want to take a step back and think about the big picture of your professional life. Where do you want to end up? What do you want to achieve in the next 20 or 30 years? Listen to a few of our colleagues describe their long-term career goals. Um, so my long-term career goals, I think, are still in flux. Uh, in some ways. I think that's pretty common. I know that I like helping people, which is at the center of all the things that I want to do. How I do that can change. Right now I get a lot of satisfaction and reward from being able to um, interact closely with postdocs, but I also see a change moving more towards uh, broader strategic vision, policies, things that have broader impact than the one-on-one. -on -one. My career objectives have changed over time because initially in my postdoc I was um, studying you know, behavioral medicine and really into health psychology and some of the um, some of the psychosocial factors that could lead to uh, health behaviors that are related to race-related stressors. But now I've transitioned more so into thinking of how can we change the environment so that the individual may not need, have the need to cope in such a strategic and intentional way. Like how can we make the environment so that they aren't stressful in the first place? I see my goals as um, playing an important role in making BU's graduate programs as strong as they can possibly be. So, you know, I'd like to build beyond the professoriate up. We're in year two, you're starting year three of this being full time. There's a lot of opportunity, but you know, we're doing bootstrap startup. So at this point, it's building this into a viable business that will sustain and support the, my team with reasonable salaries and to try and serve as many PhDs as possible. My goals are really just to have an impact, um, to make life easier for faculty to carry out their work, uh, to make the process a little bit smoother, to help uh, people not have as many frustrations. A career goal is a short, descriptive statement about the big picture of your career aspirations. Before you reflect on your own career goal, we want to spend a minute thinking about why career goals are important and how they might change over time. If we think about the analogy of a map, the career goal is the X, where you want to end up. Without a career goal in mind, the short-term objectives you set might not help you get there. Aligning your career goal with the short-term steps you take along the way is a critical step as you plan your development as a professional. In addition, sharing your career goals with your mentors can help them support you in finding the best path to career success. Future employers also want to know your career objectives. Think about the interviews that you've had in the past. Did any of them ask, why do you want this job? If so, you can use your career goals and short-term objectives to demonstrate why this position will help you get on your path to a successful career. Now let's talk about how to write a career goal. First, we want you to keep it short and specific. Your career goal should be just a phrase rather than a full sentence or a paragraph. Next, we want you to be honest with yourself. What do you really want to achieve? We also want you to avoid cliche phrases such as looking for a challenging position or an opportunity for advancement. You've already heard about mine, but Jess, what is your career goal? My career goal is to improve undergraduate teaching and learning, which ends up driving the various teaching, research, and administrative work that I've sought out and now do on a daily basis. So career goals are those big dreams and aspirations we have for ourselves, but to reach them, we need some smaller achievable objectives. If your career goal is the X on the map, your career objectives are the dots or the steps that you take to get to the X. These are the things that you learn or the positions that you hold along the way. So now let's think about how we can set career objectives that align with our goals. A helpful acronym for setting objectives is SMART. When you decide on an objective, ask yourself, is it specific? How will you measure your progress? Is it attainable? How relevant is it to your career goal? And is there a time frame attached? If we reflect on the short-term goals that you defined last week, we want to connect those into long-term goals that can be incorporated into your career plan. We can revisit the example from last week, which was on submitting a fellowship. Maybe the postdoc has a long-term career goal to run her own research group in the future, and securing funding as a trainee was the short-term goal to prepare her for the faculty applications that she's going to be doing in the next cycle. As you build your career plan, think about how your short-term goals connect to your long-term career goals. 
We're providing you two career plan templates. One is built with a monthly timeline and the other uses a quarterly timeline. Choose either one. We know some of you might have an existing career plan and we would just encourage you to update it as we go along. After you build your career plan, you will be sharing it with other course participants for feedback. And we also have provided a few examples of career plans from postdocs.